you go crazy You take all my inhibitions Baby, there's nothing holding me back You take me places that tear up my reputation Manipulate my decisions Baby, there's nothing holding me back my Rapunzel inspired look so if you want to know how I got it just keep on watching. So to start today's look I'm going to be taking my 35S palette from Morphe and I'm going to, uh, going to be taking this top shade right here on the corner just to use it as a transition from the outer crease. So next I'm going to be taking this shade right here it's like a lighter pink but still bright and I'm going to put it right under it to give it more color. Next, I'm going to be taking a smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Totally Cute palette and I'm going to be using this shade called I Heart TF and I'm just going to put that right in the middle as well to brighten it even more. So after throwing in that bright shimmery pink, I'm going to be going back with my 35S palette and I'm going to be taking this soft lilac color I'm blending it almost with the pink, uh, but right under it. Next with that same fluffy brush, I'm going to be taking the Masquerade palette for Juvia's Place and taking just a little bit of the shade Makita right here. Not too much because I know this is a really dark purple and it's kind of, you know, light look. And I'm just going to blend that in underneath that pink along with that lot soft lilac color. I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Totally Cute palette again and using that same I Heart Tia color pink and I'm just going to blend it out from the crease. So next, using my 35S palette, I'm going to be taking this pinkish purple color with the flat brush and I'm just going to lay this across my lid and I'm going for a matted look on the lid instead of a shimmer because I'm going to do something else bold with the liner. I want to kind of lighten up and go for a more pink undertone. So again, I'm going to be taking this light pink right here on the side and I'm just going to be adding that right on top of that purple on my lid. And I'm going to be taking my 35S palette again. I'm going to be taking this dark shade of purple right here and I'm going to be using this just to make my outer eye darker. To intensify the look just a little bit more, I'm going to be taking a um, black shadow right here and mix it with the purple on the outer corner. But when I say a little bit, I mean just a dot of it. I'm going to be taking my liquid lipstick from Lime Crime in the shade Xenon and I'm going to be doing a winged eyeliner using this. So I finished with one gold liner and I'm going to be doing the next. So now I have both of my gold wings done. I am going to be applying some of my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and then I'm going to be applying my Christina falsies as always. So now that I have my lashes on, I'm going to be taking my NYX Multitasker Mixing Medium Glue and I'm going to be taking a bobby pin and just making a line under my eyes. So now that I have the glue under my eye, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette and I'm going to be taking this shade Magnetic right here. And I'm just going to be dragging it all across the glue. So now I finish with the purple eyeshadow underneath. So when I was getting the purple from uh, my Mundus palette, I realized that the sticker is still on this. And I've had this since April. And I was just going to peel this off. Because this is, oh my god. Oh! Oh, yes. Oh my god, look at how clear that is. I'm, I'm obsessed. Like, peeling these things can, like, literally, like, 
happiness. I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Long Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil and this is in the shade Striking Copper and I'm just going to do my bottom waterline. Next I'm going to be taking my Telescopic Mascara from L'Oreal and I'm just going to be coating my bottom lashes. So my camera broke, I mean not broke, so my camera died and when I was off camera I decided to outline my wings in black eyeliner so that you could actually see them more and put a little bit more of an emphasis on it and I, and I really like this a lot more. So one of the last parts of this look, I'm going to be taking my Mary Lou Manizer highlighter from The Balm and I'm just going to be taking some of this and throwing it onto my cheekbones my nose and with the pencil brush i'm going to be taking this all along my brow bone and the last part i'm going to highlight is my cupid's bow to bring a little bit of extra pop to the eyes i'm going to be taking my moon dust palette by urban decay and taking this shade specter right here this light pink in the corner and using that for my inner corner highlight and i'm just going to be putting a little bit on just to brighten up the look. So to finish off this look, I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Lolita 2. So this is today's finished look. And it is inspired by one of my favorite Disney princesses, Rapunzel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And don't forget to watch more of my videos. And thank you again for watching. Bye!